It happens every fall, and it's the event that all of us in the Texas Auto Riders Association look forward to all year long. Hi, right, Nicole Willie Nelson. We're on the road again, headed to San Antonio for the annual Texas Auto Riders Association Texas Truck Rodeo. We're going to hold it again at the historic Knibby Ranch, which is just outside of San Antonio in the hill country. And I'm traveling in the brand new Toyota Tundra. It's going to compete against a brand new Chevy Silverado and GMC Sierra, a Ford F-150 and Ram pickup that were just redesigned last year, all vying for Truck of Texas honors, plus all the SUVs and off-road vehicles. It's just going to be a blast. And this year, the competition for the title of Truck of Texas was fierce. Both Ford and Ram had new trucks last year. This year, the new Chevy Silverado and its GMC Sierra stablemate were odds-on favorites. And Toyota has the new redesigned Tundra with luxury and power in spades. But Ram had a twist. Under the hood of last year's new design was this year's new engine, a 3-liter V6 diesel engine. It's the first diesel available in a light-duty half-ton pickup. And here we are in the beautiful Knibby Ranch here in the hill country. And for the next couple of days, we're going to be beating up some trucks. And the factory reps gathered and watched and worried as we drove their babies. This is the uh, new heavy-duty uh, Ram 2500. I'm doing this in the new Jeep Grand Cherokee Summit with the Eco Diesel, 3-liter diesel. First time they put a diesel in a sport utility vehicle in this category here in the United States anyway. It's very common in Europe. Now they're vying for best drivetrain. That's one of the awards being given away here at the Truck Rodeo. All sorts of new technology and all sorts of people who don't know a one-way road when they see one. Of course everyone had their best and shiniest at the event. Vehicles range from tough off-roaders to sleek luxury trucks that'll probably never see dirt, much less a rock. And this year, the beautiful Guadalupe River was a little higher thanks to abundant rain this spring and summer. And all the best were there and being pounded over some pretty rough terrain. Uh -huh. Some drivers were sensible, and some were in danger of running out of talent. In the end, though, we had to pick some winners. And the 2013 truck of Texas was the new Ram 1500 diesel from Chrysler. The Ram Heavy Duty also won its category. Another Chrysler product, the Jeep Grand Cherokee, also equipped with the diesel, was the SUV of Texas. And another new Jeep product, the sleek, if slightly controversial design, Cherokee, was named Midsize Sport Utility Vehicle of Texas. And the Ram won the truck line of Texas. Other category winners included the Jeep Wrangler, GMC Terrain, the Nissan Juke, Nissan Pathfinder, and Frontier, the Hyundai Santa Fe, Ford Raptor, Range Rover, and more. Now my voting differed a bit from my colleagues as I think the new GM pickups were absolutely stunning. 
And the F-150 still shows why it's the best-selling pickup in the country consistently. And the new Toyota Tundra that I drove down to San Antonio is finally a very competitive entry. It was a great event, unless you don't work for Chrysler. And for all the other guys, well, there's always next year. Roger Gray, KTK News.